talk about this. Do you think YouTubers are exploiting us? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this video. My name is Vanessa, and today we have and that shop life with us today. <laughs> today I'm going to be talking about some hate I literally get on my channel for being an Nigerian YouTuber, making videos about Ghana or in Ghana. I don't know how to feel that. But there are just some comments I get on the channel. I feel like it will be very fair to come here and just like touch on the comments on camera like this Ada is here for more support <laughs> you know that yeah because basically the the end point of the whole stuff is like are youtubers exploiting Ghana that's what we're going to be talking about today before we get into that this is your first time on the channel to me well and subscribe to the channel <laughs> and like and comment also and let's get into this video so a lot of I, I get a lot of comments because and I was thinking I have this whole YouTube uh, uh, community where it's all love. I do get a lot of love on my YouTube. Yes. I think I'm very fortunate with the kind of people my my channel attracts. My channel kind of attracts people that are open minded, people that are loving, and just like show me love. But also the channel attracts some not so. You know, one of the comments I got recently. Which is why I'm making this video. Is like I think it was a video about Accra I uh, made. Well, okay, I, I think to that drive through Accra okay. I made on Saturday or something. There's one was like the comment. I'm going to read the comment out. These Nigerian YouTubers. Obviously, the person have issue with just Nigerian YouTuber because on the uh, on the street of YouTube, basically, there are a lot of people making content about. Ghana and Accra, not just Nigerian, but he specifically said this Nigerian YouTuber. So he actually does not have a problem with other YouTubers or other nationals making content about this people, it's just about Nigerians. Digressing a bit. It was like okay, this Ghanaian YouTuber, this Nigerian YouTubers are doing more harm to Ghana than good. The government will not face the country with the kind of videos they make. So basically, we come here and we make videos about Ghana and we tell you, oh, Ghana is amazing, Ghana is this, and Ghana is that. And we are like exporting Ghana way because we are making this video like that. The Ghanaian government will see this video and they will not fix the things that are wrong with the country. <laughs> like, I, that, that is kind of that funny. Add up, like. It, like, how does that even add up? Like, People you mean. know, people literally are do, like me. I want to do this because I do not want my channel. I don't want to like create a fake fake around my channel where it's just like oh everybody that come my channel they like. I think we, there 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 should be a point where we will talk about like some important yeah. matters and just like yeah. just like oh this like this happen also. It's not just like this and like that alone. You know? So let's talk about this. Do you think YouTubers are exploiting us? Like from the videos you 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 seen, let's put it, okay. Let's say the video you see me making, am I like creating like a fake um, scenario of Ghana? Like I'm trying to like say, oh, Ghana is this when Ghana is actually that. I'm even trying to understand why somebody will even say something like that because it's obviously not. You understand? I try to like create content about Ghana based on my experience in Ghana alone. Mm -hmm. Which means if I go anywhere and this place is fun, I'm going to tell you it's fun. If I go anywhere and I discover this place is beautiful, I'm going to tell you it's beautiful. Oh, exactly. I'm seeing one fine guy from my window. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see the guy. <laughs> I just go like, I just supposed to say stuff. Don't say they're black, they're black, they're black. From outside the estate, you see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, digressing a bit, yeah? So yeah, it's kind of like when I go to a particular place and I discover that oh, this particular part of Accra is fine and I tell you oh, this particular part of Accra is fine I don't see how that is like expectation I, I, I feel like people, people like this, they feel like oh, Nigerians are coming in and they are not making all these videos on YouTube and now we are not creating this whole okay, you say we are doing more harm to Ghana than good because there are a lot of things that need to be fixed in the country that the government will not fix because we are not saying Ghana is this I'm not trying to understand his point uh, even me, I'm not trying to like, understand how, the, how that correlates like, with me with 
you know, like, number one, I did not move to Ghana for YouTube. I was already in Ghana for it was on my YouTube. So it's like natural that I talk about Ghana because Ghana is where I live. So you don't understand that. And another point, another way to look at it is that okay, there are a lot of things that need to be faced in this country basically because no country is hundred percent good, you know. I know the government, they have, there are a lot of things the government of Ghana, they need to fix about Ghana and Accra, there are a lot of development, a lot of things basically. So imagine me as in Nigeria, coming from Nigeria with my terrible government, and then I start making videos about the Ghana government every day saying, Ghana government is rubbish, they need to do this. <laughs> They need to do that, and then I'm not coming to Ghana, right? And I'm not, and I'm making just negative content about Ghana as a Nigerian, saying, Oh, the government needs to do this, the government needs to do that. When I'm not even finished telling my own government, right. you, you know, I'm just imagining the kind of hate I would get for that. People would be like, Go back to your country and fix your They'll country first. Because I don't understand. <laughs> They will literally eat me and spit me out because I'm, I'm it's like I'm coming to your country, right? I'm leaving my own country. It's not like my country is working perfectly because even if my country is working perfectly, I will still not be in place to come to Ghana and start telling you what is wrong with your country. Yes, exactly. exactly. You, you, you understand? It will, not, it will be like a, an unfair. unfair uh, I don't know how to put it basically. It doesn't really sit that way. Like it, you, a foreigner coming, coming to Ghana, to, coming to bring out the bad part of, of Ghana. Ghana, and I'm not like telling everybody online that oh, Ghana is horrible. Or oh, the government of Ghana, they are doing this. The president of Ghana is doing that. They are this. They need to do it. But like, I'm literally coming and I'm making videos like that. I'm not asking you as a Ghanaian. Will that sit very well with you? Like if you okay, like Nigerians, we're Nigerians, right? Yeah. And we know Nigeria is. We know the way our government are they're rubbish basically. So imagine a Ghanaian not coming to Nigeria every day, he's not making video every day, blasting the country and blasting. If you blast Bari, we will not mind though. At all. Anybody can <laughs> blast Bari, we do not mind. But it's kind of like you as a Ghanaian, you're not coming to Nigeria, right? And yeah. you're not making video every day, you're blasting the Igbos. The Igbo need to do this, they are not together. You are blasting the Yorubans, the Yorubans need to do that. They are blasting the Lagos State. For you are for them, beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nigeria, I will beat you up. They'll beat you up. Literally, like, <laughs> I'm just like, it doesn't sit well with anybody when a foreigner comes to your country and it's not like painting your country in a bad light. Exactly. Do I think there are things that need to be fixed in Ghana? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do I think the government, because I feel like this whole bad government, governance thing is, is an African thing. <laughs> it's not just a Ghanaian thing, nor is it just a Nigerian thing. I think most times we fall in the hand of very bad government yeah, and they tend to do things they're not supposed to do. I don't think, there are a lot of things I think the Ghana government can still do, but it is not my place as a foreigner, because I love Ghana, yes, I make a lot of videos about Ghana, I like showing the, uh, the life in Ghana, I like showing the good place in Ghana, I like putting Ghana on the map. If I was in another country, I would do the same thing for that country also. But even as much as I love Ghana and I love making this content about Ghana, the first thing you realize about me is that before I am anything as in this life, I'm Nigerian. Yes. I am Nigerian. Making videos about Ghana would never make me Ghanaian. I hope for some people come and say, oh, you should uh, uh, get a Ghanaian uh, passport. Or if there's all this lady that also come up of my video, I'll be like, oh, you want me to get a Ghanaian man? <laughs> you don't see those comments. Okay, I don't want to say, Vanessa, I think you need to get a Ghanaian boy. <laughs> So I'm just saying, I'm not saying I, I will not date any Ghanaian or whatever. But I'm just saying, even if I ended up dating a Ghanaian and I even get married to a Ghanaian, it still would not make me a Ghanaian. I will still be a foreign wife in Ghana. You understand? I will still be a Nigerian. So even as I then, I won't just come outside and will start painting. Oh, this is what is horrible about Ghana. It will be unfair. So about that. If you're that person, why I'm making this is that I'm thinking I do not get a lot of this comment. I'm not going to come here and say I get a lot of hate. I do not. I'm very fortunate. You you see the yeah, comment on my channel, yeah. but I get some of this. I'm just like I'll make this video start in case someone else is like feeling like that. Let's you know. Yeah, I do feel like these videos on YouTube 
they are not doing harm to Ghana because your government will not watch my video where I'm saying a guy is doing and they will be like, okay, it's good like that too. See this girl that's from Nigeria that's making YouTube videos said Ghana is good that so we'll not do anything again. I don't want that way. How does that even work? So if you are coming to me that oh the government is not facing your country because me as a Nigerian and I'm coming here and I'm telling people a cry is beautiful. A cry is beautiful. Do you think yes. a cry is beautiful? A cry is beautiful. So do you want me to come here and tell you a cry is not beautiful when it's beautiful? If you notice, I make my videos yeah, it just about like if I'm going out, I see this, oh this is what I saw, oh a cry is this, oh I like this about this, oh look away I am, it's beautiful here yeah, and the rest of that. I try to stay away from politics. Mm -hmm. If you see my videos, yeah. there was another comment there, eh, right? Someone asked me, Oh, you're not like the other YouTuber, you do not talk down on any country. I think most people think because I, I come here and I talk about Ghana, I will talk back on Nigeria. Like, I never do that. If you notice my video, I don't do that on my video. I'm not coming here and I'm blasting this. So the, the comment was like, YouTubers do this, but you, you do not do that, you don't talk down on any country. How do you do that? It's just easy. I'm Nigerian, I obviously love being in Nigeria. Yes. Even if I'm coming back to Nigeria, I want to hundred percent Nigeria. <laughs> I want to be in Nigeria again. It's not like I do not like I love my nationality, I love my country. Because I love my country, don't mean I cannot love another country mm -hmm. also. Even if I move from Ghana to another country tomorrow and I like the country, I'm going to tell you I like it so this is how it is. This is that and this is that. It's not my place. And then I get some some Nigerian uh, uh, comments. Mm -hmm. Comment up because I, I feel like this is about Nigerian. Okay, there was a Kenya that did this also. He was not like, oh, uh, uh, I think uh, African Tigress showed them a video of um, uh, Jamestown, which I think we'll go to Jamestown so we can show people yeah. different aspects of our car, different parts of our car. It was not like, oh, they've been lying to us on YouTube, you included, because they, they, obviously they think in a in, uh, in, uh, Nairobi, Kenya, basically that everywhere in Ghana, everywhere in Accra is East Lagos or Canton, which is where I am, East Lagos. So maybe if I show you East Lagos, you're not thinking the whole of Accra is East Lagos. No, they will always like in Lagos. There's Ireland, there is Mainland, yes. there is Ghetto, <laughs> there is different parts of each city. So they saw that they were like, oh, we are light, so Accra is not developed the way. So you don't expect everywhere in Accra to be like it's East Lagos. Even in London, they have they, they have Ghetto in London. <laughs> So if you fine. go to New York and you go to, I've not been to New York obviously, but I've seen videos. I watch movies and I, I watch videos about New York also. They have ghetto there yes. also, where you see rats everywhere, people homeless, people. Exactly. The, the exactly. media. If you see, you know what thing with us African, right? We always want to like show the bad side, the bad, which is why the Western world they think Africa we all of us we live in trees, we live in mud houses because if they come to Africa. Those are just the kind of places they show, you understand? Yeah. Like if a white person comes to Ghana, right, and he's making videos about Ghana, he wouldn't want to make videos about Accra, the East Legon and Cantonment as yes. is. He look for the trenches. He will look for the trenches <laughs> part and make videos like make that. Videos. So if you want Africans also to come to your country and make those videos like that, you are like selling that image of your country. Oh. We should, they don't do that. They, they try hiding that part of their own life. Like, you see the London, they, they may be about the only fine places in the world. Yeah. Show us the trenches in London, they will not. Then you go to Paris. I hear Paris is one of the most dirtiest uh, cities. Yes, I, I saw some posts about like a part of Paris. I was like, this is not Paris. You know, because they only show <laughs> us the, the, I the say, part. The island, you, the know, you know, you, you, you always think oh, Paris is like city of love. Yeah. You, know, you snap those fine fish up. You see all those people wearing those hats. Mm -hmm. They only show us the fine part of Paris. Nobody shows the well, so imagine you now thinking, oh, because this is what they show you just this. So I kind of supposed to be like that. So if you see anywhere that's not like that, you are not very happy. Africans, we need to start like showing the Africans this Western media as they will not show. Mm -hmm. So if you expect me that I'm going to come to Ghana and I'm going to show you just the poor or the wretched or the, the dilapidated aspect of your life. I'm going to show you everywhere. You're going to see the Africans. They ain't showing you my nigga. Sorry, language. <laughs> also, uh, uh, there is this 
I, it's just one particular guy, he's Nigerian. He's so disgusted with Ghana. I do not know why. I have a personal beef with Ghana. <laughs> so even my video you call you say stop deceiving people, stop deceiving people. Oh my god. You must not be to Ghana yet. So how do you even know how people deceiving people? <laughs> just hate. I, it's just hate. And I think we have that between Ghana and Nigeria. We get that love-hate relationship. It's definitely uh, always deny it what is this. Yeah, we have that love hate relationship. We always like talking that. So that guy will always come and be there and be like, Oh, Ghana is not this, Ghana is not that. Stop this thing. Have you been to Ghana? <laughs> and you like, See, those are some of the few hate comments I get. Basically, just as because I'm in Nigeria making YouTube videos in Ghana, mm -hmm. I get a lot of that also. We just wanted to come on here and talk about it. So you can just tell us your own opinion in the comment section. Do you think the Nigerian YouTubers are exploiting Ghana? Do you think uh, and Nigerian YouTubers are doing more harm than good to Ghana by making all these videos showing just this and that of Ghana? We're not showing the trenches. <laughs> The, the, let us know in the comment section. We're going to end this video here now because we'll be making a lot of videos today. We're ending this here so I can go and do something. I'm not even eating sex. <laughs> I think I'm hungry. I'm not even eating so after I go to it. So if you're here and you're still watching, we've done with all of that. Don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to Adat's channel. Yes, yeah, see guys. <laughs> I think I'll put Adat's channel on my channel front page. So you can just click and so I, I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to go and figure out how to do that. I think there's a way I can add a channel to my channel. Mm -hmm. So like everyone on my page. channel will not be seeing your channel and they can subscribe to, to my channel. channel. For, to your channel for my channel. Oh. Wow. I'm going to try and go and figure it out. So her channel will not be displayed on my front page of my channel. So when you're just on the channel, click on it. You want to see this fine gay, then you want to have to start making personal videos. <laughs> click and subscribe to our channel and give out more like Encourage her. <laughs> and they go that and they uh, get when get money. When they bring go. money, and they go right. <laughs> oh yeah, go. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.